Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. I'm Janelle Simmons. Today we have FGCU ice hockey, baseball making history, and more. Today is Wednesday, March 23rd, and this is the lunch break. February market reports for South Lee and Collier counties seem to be following a similar trend. Buyers appear to be getting a little more skittish about buying, while home values are still robust with sale prices jumping 13% over the last year in Benita and Estero, according to the Benita Springs Estero Board of Realtors. Sales are down for a few different reasons. Inventories are on the rise in Naples, said the Naples Area Board of Realtors in their latest report. In February overall, inventory rose 27% year over year, making for just below seven months worth of supply. To learn why, visit Naples Herald. The first visit by a major league team to the communist country island Cuba since 1999, the Tampa Bay Rays beat the Cuban national team 4-1 on Tuesday. There was a scene that was a remarkable milestone for sports diplomacy as the two presidents, Barack Obama and Raul Castro, try to set aside more than 50 years of Cold War hostility, during which about the only thing the countries agreed on was a shared love of baseball. Go to Naples Herald for more details on the game. FGCU's D2 ice hockey team was celebrating as the Eagles brought home their second national championship on Tuesday with a 4-1 win over Liberty at Westchester University. For my hockey fans to see how the game went, check out Naples Herald. That was the lunch break for today. I'm Janelle Simmons. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report. That also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.